This week I had a wonderful opportunity to interview Gaz. Him and his wife serve behind the scenes at their church, Liberty in Newport. He is full of passion, ideas and wisdom and it was a great opportunity to hear from him. So this short video is just a snippet of the podcast that we recorded together. We're asking the question about the importance of the role of administrator working closely with the senior pastor. So check out the video and if you'd like to listen to the full podcast, then go to thechurchoffice.co.uk and there you'll find other podcasts, other resources that we hope will support those who are serving behind the scenes. So check it out. Enjoy. Someone's described church administration like spinning lots of plates. <laughs> and so I'm hectically running around trying to spin and keep all these plates going. And I remember him saying to me one time, you just got to let that, cr- that plate crash. Mm. Just, just forget about it. And, and actually, by you not doing it, there'll be a void where someone goes, oh, that's not being done. <laughs> right, I'll go and do it. Jump in, yeah. And, and, and without even training, without even thinking who could be the person to take this on, no, sometimes you just got to let it crash. And, yeah. and, and I'm this kind of perfectionist that wants all things to go well, and I'm, I'm like covering everything, trying to cover all the bases and make it all work together. And actually, you know, it's just really helpful if I, someone sitting down and go, actually, it's okay for them to crash sometimes. Really? And it's okay for that void. Is, uh, were you listening to mine and my wife's conversation <laughs> this morning? Like, are you stalking me in my house? Because it's very similar to conversation we're having. And yeah. that, is, that is a challenge for us. It is a real challenge. And yeah. actually, sometimes we never get to that point unless other people help us on that. Yeah. And that's why yeah. it's so important yeah. for team. Yeah. And sometimes those people are not always in our church because maybe we are leading alone or maybe it is a smaller team. Yeah. So who are we inviting from other churches or other perspectives yeah. who can help us on that journey as Absolutely well? Absolutely right. And I think one of the things that's been really important for me is, um, is maintaining a good relationship with the senior pastor. Mm. So, I, yeah, I want to serve the other elders and, and those who are working with us. But, but uh, you know, if I'm going to make the ship mobile and, and steer mm. it in a way, I want to have a really good and close relationship with the lead person. Yeah. And, um, and often I'll sit with Pete, you know, once a week and we'll go through things. And one thing that I found really helpful in this, and for people who are listening who, who might have the same sort of struggles as us, um, is that I'll say to Pete, here's, here's my list of priorities this week. And I'll ask him, what is his list of priorities? <laughs> and suddenly we've had this conversation and I've realized that the thing that was at the top of my list is way, way down his. So I've placed this importance on something yes. that actually he's looking and going, oh, don't worry about that. That'll just happen. Something will, you know, we'll just leave that for the time being. We can do, we can cover that in, yes. in a couple of weeks. Don't worry about it. But I really want you to focus on to this yeah. and give your time to this. And then, you know, leave it for the rest of the week. <laughs> and those kind of conversations are great. And that relationship is is key to continue to invest yeah. in. And you clearly have that with, with Heath and, mm. and the other elders at your church. And I think if you're listening, that is a, a key thing, I think, to you know, key principle to have that relationship yes. with the senior pastor, that that community around you, um, being able to draw people in and invite people in and listen to what they've got to say. Yeah. And and often people have a better perspective than we yeah. have ourselves. Yeah. And that's about investment, isn't it? And working at that. Yeah. That actually sometimes those relationships don't happen overnight. Mm-hmm. That actually it's building the depth because there'll be times where actually you you have to get to a point you don't always understand the reason why Mm -hmm. something's been asked Mm -hmm. but that's where trust comes in yeah so actually if you haven't built that depth of relationship then you're always going to be questioning and then what am i relaying to the teams i'm involved with because and i think that's a big thing when coming to work with leadership teams is what am i relaying then to the people i serve alongside Mm -hmm. am i relaying my interpretation of what they're saying Mm -hmm. or my opinion well, so the leader said this, and I'm not sure if that's really a good idea, but <laughs> they've said we have to do that. Yeah. Or is it actually, I might have asked the questions in the meeting going, why are we doing this? Are you sure? But actually, when I leave that room, it's going, all right, how can we help deliver that? How can we help steer that ship? Yeah. Because actually that trust is built and it flows both ways. Yeah, absolutely. So right. actually they trust our voice and we trust. And actually then it gets to the point of we're in this together. Yeah. And that's a really good place yeah. to be. Yeah, brilliant.